episode of Pathmon. In today's video, we'll be adding more interactivity into our game. Specifically, what we're going to do is allow you to move the character when an up or down key is pressed. So if the user presses the up key, we'll move our character up. And if the user presses the down key, we'll move our character down. So let's begin. So first, every time we press the up or down key, we're going to move the character by some set amount. And so we'll determine what that is here. So we'll call this variable character move amount. And we'll set this equal to an integer, which represents the number of pixels we'll move our character when one of these keys is pressed. And you can experiment with this number and sort of set it to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to use 10 here. And then throughout each time our game loop runs, we're going to actually update our character's Y position. They can only move on the Y axis, so they can only move up or down in this game. So the amount we're actually going to move them for each run of the loop, we'll call that Y change when we'll set that equal to zero initially. And then based on the action the user takes, that's what's going to determine uh, whether or not we change this variable or not. So that's all we need outside of our loop. So if we go back inside of our loop, we need to check to see what the event type is. And this is how we're going to figure out what kind of key the user is pressing. So we're going to do if event.type matches key down. Make sure you capitalize the same way I did. So this is saying if the event type is a key going down. So if you press a key, then that is a key down event. You're just pressing any key down. All right, so now we actually need to check to see which key are they pressing. So we can do if event that key, and we have to see if that matches pi and got k up. All right, so this is saying if they press any key, and now we're checking to see if they press the up key. Press the up key, then we're going to update our y change variable. So we'll set y change equal to negative character move amount. And then we're going to repeat this process and we're going to check to see if they press the down key. So that's K underscore down. That should be a capital K. And then we can just copy and paste this line right here inside of our that should be an elif, not an if. And we can delete, get rid of that negative. Alright, so this is checking to see which key that they press. And if it's up, we'll move our character by the negative 10. And if it press down, we'll move our character by 10. And this is all well and good. But this only accounts for what happens when they press a key. When they release a key, we're also going to do some things there. So actually, let's, let's implement that logic now. So we can go back to levels of indentation, back here. And we'll check the event type. And this time, we're not checking to see if they push a key down. We're going to see if they release a key. So it will be key up. And we also need to check to see if the event key was a up or down. So if they press the up arrow or the down arrow. Those are the only keys we're going to be using at this point in our game. So we really don't care if they press any other key. That just won't do anything. We can do if event that key is up key. I mean, if, if they press the up key. Or if they press the down key. And what we're going to do is reset y change to zero, and this is because we don't want we don't want to forget to reset this y change variable because we want this to to run every time they press a key in our loop. So we don't want to accumulate any values or anything. We just want this to be reset so that the next time they press a key, we can we is implemented properly. And that is all we need in at this level of indentation. So we can go back, and then inside of our loop, we have to actually update our y value. So we can do y plus equals and then we'll add our y change variable. Make sure you type that correctly. And what this is doing is actually updating the, the variable y which is where we're keeping the position of our character. So y change is how much we're going to change y which is the actual y position of our character. See what it looks like now. So it'll take a couple of seconds to run. You can see if you press the up arrow key, your character moves up. And if you press the down arrow key, your character moves down. So that's how you can implement some really basic movement into your game character. 
and in the next videos we'll actually be adding enemies into our game and we'll be really building out our game but you can see we really have the basing blocks of an interesting looking game here and that's the, the beauty of Pi game without a whole lot of lines of code you can come up with a pretty cool game so thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one